The correction officer had no warning. On the right side of the screen, you see the inmate come at him, repeatedly stabbing him with some sort of makeshift weapon. Soon, another inmate jumps in and a second officer runs over. The violent struggle continues on the ground as a third officer then responds, and then a third inmate starts punching. More than a minute after the attack begins, roughly a dozen other officers race into help. In all, five were hurt, including this officer who suffered painful wounds to his face. Another is led away bleeding and limping, and the union says one officer was stabbed 12 times. In a statement, the union says it's angry but not surprised, saying, quote, We have been warning the Department of Correction of something like this. Our officers are continuing to get hurt. This horrifying video speaks for itself. Change has to come, and it has to come swiftly. Security expert Todd McGee has reviewed the video, saying a full investigation has to uncover all factors leading up to the brutal attack. Are these types of incidents isolated? Or are they on the heels of policy within the prison? Are they um, as a result of maybe just bad blood between an inmate and a corrections officer? I think there's a number of things to look at to understand why, why did this happen in this way? The governor has promised a full security review at the prison. Tonight, we do know that four of the injured officers are back home, but the officer stabbed 12 times. He is still in the hospital in serious condition. Live in the newsroom, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.